don't sugarcoat anything to you. Being an entrepreneur is one of the most difficult decisions I ever had to make in my life. There are so many things that, hell, I went to bed crying. up welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're visiting my channel for the very first time hi my name is emma i'm a youtuber based in zambia and i'd appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel for all my returning subscribers and viewers thank you so much for watching yet another one of my videos so before i get into anything about this video i just want to say a special thank you to plus 260 tech solutions for sponsoring this video as you guys can see the hook a girl up i got a mic and she also got like some equipment behind the scenes that i'll show you uh plus 260 tech solutions is a tech company that sells different types of equipment such as cell phones mics reflectors everything in those lines so if you're looking for a quality trust me quality hookup for all your equipment your phones your accessories all those types of things make sure you search for plus 260 tech solutions they have an instagram page as well as a website which i will leave in the i'll leave a link to it in the description box below so yeah check all right out. so like from the moment from the day that i l launched my business i got so many questions about how i did it how i was able to save the money how i'm managing it a b c and d and i was able to answer a few questions here and there but i couldn't necessarily answer everything because i was equally in the learning process myself i've only been in business for um let me just say like officially officially like really 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 been in business for uh, i opened the shop on the 2nd of march so next month like a week from now is going to be a year so i wasn't able to really answer all the questions the way i would want to just because i was in the learning process myself i was figuring stuff out myself i was equally new to it so i didn't know everything i still don't but i feel like i have been in it been in it <laughs> long enough to be able to give my personal insight on certain things therefore that led me to starting this entire series which i decided to call the entrepreneurship guide or entrepreneurship guide <sighs> that was a mouthful whichever you prefer so yeah i'm calling it the entrepreneurship guide just giving you really my tips and answering so many questions that i've gotten over the years these are the topics that we are going to be tackling and um yeah i hope I at least give you one or two things that are going to be beneficial to you and helpful to you so without further ado let's just start all right so the first thing we're going to be talking about obviously in the title it's written the things that you should consider before starting a business now bear in mind these are not tips that i like researched or googled or anything like that i'm just personally speaking off of personal experience and things that i feel like are necessary in order like for you to actually run like a viable business you know what i mean so the first tip i'm looking down because i wrote them down so the first tip um to consider or the first thing you should consider when you're starting a business is why are you starting the business in the first place um a lot of people start businesses off of the wrong reasons right like obviously why you're starting a business is obviously to make a profit to make an income that's that's a given we all know that but i feel like why are you starting that particular business from any other business is really what i'm trying to talk about a lot of people and especially in this country we find that just because you've been seeing um linda selling cupcakes and and pastries and stuff like that and she's doing very well at it you automatically just want to jump and do the same thing just because you've seen that linda is succeeding in that particular field there's a lot that goes into running a business and one thing that is of the most importance when you're running any kind of business is you need to be passionate about it it needs to come from you the fact that you've seen linda running a successful business and you just want to do it just because if linda can do it so can i that's not the mentality that you want find what is right to you what exactly are you passionate about what makes you feel good so that when you wake up doing it every single day you're happy it doesn't feel like a drag doing a business just because somebody else is doing the business is not it's not enough this is why in this country we have situations where we have all these businesses that look exactly like that because literally there's no passion there's no authenticity it didn't come from you so you're literally mimicking what somebody else is doing and it's not coming from you in the long run you're going to end up 
hating what you're doing and this is where we have so many stories of saying oh i have zambia and poor customer service and abc and D. you're not passionate about what you do how are you going to treat people with love how are you supposed to make people feel welcome into what you're doing when you don't even like what you're doing you're just doing it because somebody else did it don't get me wrong i do not want to be misquoted there's nothing wrong with drawing inspiration from other people there's nothing wrong with that but the second that you're just doing it just because linda did it or bridget did it you automatically lose it and it might work for the first like one two three months but in the long run trust me because it didn't come from you that genuine love is not there it's going to show customers are going to feel it how you attend to things it's just it's i really don't want to be rude or disrespectful or trigger anybody here but i'm just trying to be honest like i said there's nothing wrong with drawing inspiration from somebody else there's nothing wrong with saying that, oh, maybe I should try what Linda is doing and let me see how I feel about it. And if you end up liking it, then you end up liking it. That's fine. But just doing it for the sole purpose that because Linda is doing well and she's going to do it, it's not going to be beneficial to you in the long run. I'm really, really sorry. But that's something that you need to consider. You need to know that this is something that you are actually passionate about, that this is something that you actually want to do for a long time. These things that we're doing is, I just want to make money for right now and it's okay whether it flops or not. It shows. As, as customers, we can tell that this is something that you are not taking as seriously that it's not really coming from from your soul it's not coming from you you know but i don't want to do too much on that but i'm sure you get the point of what i'm trying to say so yeah that's my first point second point is you need to think about whether or not there is a demand for this particular business that you want to start um it doesn't necessarily matter that you have all these things let's say you're selling products or whatever you've started a skincare line and you have all these products if there is no direct demand for those products you end up just going to be you're, you're going to end up making a loss is what i'm what i want to say right you always have to do your research understand your environment your area where you are going to be starting your business is what you want to start needed by people before you end up wasting all this money on things that people don't even necessarily want or need think about that understand your demographic who are you who is your target market what does your target market want do they want what you're selling is it in their price point basically do your homework don't just wake up today and you want to be a boss babe and you start up mm -mm. you need, there's a lot that goes into it and i i personally wish i knew that for a fact because anyway but do your homework know what you you really have to go into something with as much knowledge as possible so understanding if people even actually want your product is like the best thing you can do for yourself imagine you you are an 18 year old your friends are in the same age range and you start selling like high-end clothes for people who are working class and like a little bit older and stuff like that where are you gonna find those people if they if like you don't necessarily have direct access to them do your homework do your research before you jump into starting any type of a business make sure that there is demand for this business that you want to start my next tip is to find your competitive edge we are living in a day and age where so many of us are doing the same thing right so now your goal as a business owner is to figure out what makes you unique from anybody else let's say there is you and there's linda you're both selling the same clothes you're probably both getting it from the same vendor and at the same prices so your question is your goal should be what is going to make somebody come to me and not Linda? What is your edge? It differs. Your edge could be anything from you could have different prices. You could be slightly cheaper than her to call people for a certain amount of time to pull people to you so that they know that you are the affordable plug. It could be your advertising, your branding, your aesthetic on your page. Make your business something that people want to be affiliated with. If you don't have a physical shop, that online online store is your shop when people click on your page they should be able to see that this is something that i want to be affiliated with this is a brand that i want to tag and people should know that i'm actually part of this thing i'm part of the gang in one way or another you have to make sure that you have that edge you have to make sure that you make your business something worth people spending their money on regardless of what it is find your edge it could be maybe you have bestie promotions or maybe for every purchase that you get you have a free 
something that's inexpensive a scrunchie a ribbon or whatever you want it to be just find what makes you unique find what will call people and pull people to you because you need that <laughs> you need that in a day and age where we're all doing the same thing find what makes you you and stick to it so that when people regardless of how many people are doing the same thing nobody is going to be you just remember that <laughs> The next thing is to do your research and when I say do your research, I'm now emphasizing on quality. I feel like we get so excited, like I'm about to start a business, let's say I'm going to start selling clothes, whatever hair, I mean whatever vendor you find for your clothes, you just buy those clothes and you sell. It's important to sell quality products and if your product unfortunately is not of good quality, meaning that you're getting it cheap, you cannot come back here and make it expensive. Why? Because you're exploiting people. And in the long run, your business is not going to last. Do your research and make sure, especially if you're doing something like hair, don't just rush and buy like a hundred bundles of hair from one person before you've even seen what the hair actually looks like in person. You've seen one or two pictures and now you're convinced that, okay, when the hair comes, it's going to be exactly like this. It just doesn't work like that. It just doesn't work like that. If you're going to be starting a hair business, buy one bundle of hair for yourself. Once it comes, see what it's like. Braid it to your hair or make a wig and see how it lasts, how long it's lasting. What, how does it feel like? What's the quality? Is it shedding? Get in the habit of doing your homework, guys. Make sure you do your research, the quality, so that even when you are bringing this product to people and saying, I'm selling this, it's something that you're actually proud of because you know that the quality is in line with the prices that you are pricing your goods at. That's just another pro tip. Okay. Next is you really have to be honest with yourself and ask yourself, do you have the qualities of an entrepreneur do you have the qualities of to be a boss and and um, it's okay you guys i always say this it's okay if you are not because let me tell you something if you want to jump the gun let's say your business does grow at one point or another you're going to be responsible for managing other people who are going to be working under your brand do you have what it takes do you have in all honesty when you ask yourself in your soul do you have what it takes to endure all the problems the pressures that it, having a business comes with because it comes with people having negative things to say about your product or service it comes with people complaining it comes with people trying to pull you down that's just part of the process but you need to ask yourself are you strong enough to face that and even if the answer is no you can work on it until you are strong enough to face that i won't sugarcoat anything to you being an entrepreneur is one of the most difficult decisions i ever had to make in my life there's so many things that hell i went to bed crying because i underestimated what it means to be your own boss and to be somebody else's boss do you have what it takes far from that do you have what it takes to deal with people do, do, do you just have what, in all honesty, do you have what it takes to do with people? It's the hardest thing. It's the hardest thing to put yourself out there. This is why people are constantly complaining like, ah, oh, when I go there, the customer service wasn't great. That person doesn't have what it takes to be a boss. And sometimes it's, it's, it's difficult to be honest with yourself, but if you can, do so. And I'm not saying just because the answer is no, you don't have the thick skin to take all the negativity and all the bad that comes with running a business. It doesn't mean that you can never work on yourself before you jump and start this business and take this responsibility. How's your mental health? How's your anxiety? How do you work under pressure? Ask yourself these things because situations will happen. Mistakes will happen. How are you ready to handle these things? Don't lie to yourself because before you start your business, it's you and you. Be honest with yourself. Before you decide to put yourself out there, make sure you're ready. Next thing is branding. I believe I said this earlier when I said your online store or your actual shop, make it something that people want to be affiliated with. Pay attention to your aesthetic. What makes you, you? I, I don't play with my aesthetics. I try my best to make it as like uniform and clean and neat as possible to be a true reflection of me and what I like. Do the same thing for you. Make sure you brand. I once read a quote that said, build a brand and it won't matter how many people copy you because people are going for you. It doesn't matter. There's so many people who are good at doing the same thing. 
what's your uniqueness what is your brand what calls people to you when people think of you what what is the general idea of course not everyone is going to have good things to say but what's the majority saying what is your brand what do you stand on you know when people think of you what do they want to be a part of you is it something that somebody is saving their money from just so they can be a part of you branding is everything branding is key make sure you do everything you can to make that branding as close to perfect given the situation as you possibly can it's so important guys it's so important to brand okay and last but not least on this um video is you have to consider how much money you have um of course in order to make money you need money people say that don't necessarily think it's true but anyway you have to consider how much money that you have and really think if this business is worth blowing your entire savings on <laughs> um for me personally one mistake i made is i blew all of my savings on my salon of course i got lucky but it doesn't happen for everybody be accountable leave room for mistakes i hope I don't just sound ugh saying that, but leave room for mistakes. Don't go spending all your money when you've not done your research, you haven't, you, you're not sure of how anything is going to go. Of course, you're never sure of how anything is going to go, but you just wake up and boom, spend everything that you have and pff, you, you're going to regret it. Just saying. And also, how much money do you have in, in terms of right now is my pocket strong enough to start the business do i have enough money to order these things from china do i have enough money to pay tailors to make all these things that i want to sell a b c and d so just make sure your finances are in check i will be uploading a full video where i'm specifically talking about money but i just wanted to also just add that point here and just say be aware of how much money you have and how much is worth spending on this new business venture okay all right so that brings us to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for reaching the end if you have tips that you feel like are going to be helpful we're always learning we're always growing please leave them in the comment section below for me and everybody else to see if you still have questions regarding this particular topic feel free to ask me in the comment section below follow me on instagram my link is um in the description box below leave any questions that you might want to ask that i have not answered so until my next video episode two um don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next video bye